I'm refilming this video just because um, I've kind of been a little bit inconsistent. Literally only have it posted for like two days. But I've been a little bit inconsistent because I'm not going to lie, y'all. I just haven't been satisfied with where I'm at in life. Um, it's not a depressive episode, but I'm just reflecting a lot. And due to me reflecting, it has caused me to... Hold on. Let me blow out this candle. It has caused me to acknowledge the fact that I'm just not where I want to be, right? And a part of it is my fault. A part of it is society's fault as well, right? So I feel like Gen Z are not getting as much appreciate, appreciate, whew, appreciation as they should be getting. I hope I said that right. Appreciation. Is it appreciation or appreciation? I feel like appreciation. Yeah. We're not getting as much like support and love as we should be getting because I feel like millennials are literally turning into boomers where they're like, oh, you know, when I was young, you know, I was getting jobs and shit like that. Like low key, I feel like it's a theme. It's a reoccurring theme to call Gen Z lazy and shit. And oh, you know, I had a house when I was, especially boomers though. Like let's get on boomers real quick. When they be like, oh, I had a house when I was, uh, when I was like, uh, 20 years old, I bought a house when I got my own place. Look here, grandpa. Times have changed. Like, literally, y'all, imagine trying to become an adult in this economy. I feel like we are we don't get as much appreciation as we should be getting. Like, literally, y'all became adults when milk was costing, like, $1. When groceries were costing groceries, like, and rent was costing grocery prices as well, and gas was, like, $1. Like, yes, it was easy to thrive. But literally, speaking as somebody who is a 2005 baby who is a Gen Z and trying to make it in this world, trying to build up my credit, trying to financially survive, trying to survive financially in this world. I'm telling you right now, this is the worst time. Like literally couldn't have picked a worser time to become an adult. Literally. I mean, and I feel it because even when I was in college, like bitches were struggling to even go grocery shopping because the grocery prices were so out of this world. Literally, I feel like we don't get enough appreciation. Like we've been through it all. Like some Gen Z didn't even get to have normal graduation because COVID. Then the, the inflation rates are insane. Like, Getting your own apartment is like so hard. There's so many people I know, Gen Z, that are struggling to get their own apartment, struggling to even get their own car, struggling to even get a job. Like we are literally in a recession right now with jobs where people are doing this nut shit where they are putting out job applications and not hiring any, any fucking body. Like, why do you even have a job application out if you're not hiring? Literally, so... That's part of it. Part of it is just this economy, like low key. I really wish I became an adult and I hope like some of y'all can relate to this. I wish I became an adult back in like 2010 when, you know, manicures was still costing $25 low key. When grocery was like only $50, you know what I mean? A $50 trip. Like I wish I became an adult back then. Maybe my life would be easier but trying to become an adult in this economy is so fucking horrible. Like, I hate it. I fucking hate it, bro. Everything is so expensive. Like, I kid you not. If I would have known stimulus checks would have caused this, shit, I don't know what to say. Like, maybe we shouldn't have gotten stimulus checks then because literally everything is going up. Everything monetary wise is going up this economy though is going down trust that this economy is going down but everything else is going up then prices specifically so i feel like yeah we don't get enough slack like i feel like it's easy to look and be and judge and be like oh y'all are not doing enough oh boomers looking back when fucking buying a house cost uh two dollars when how when mortgage was costing two dollars and shit talking about I, bu I bought my first house when i was like 25 no shit Houses was not costing that much back then. And even some millennials being like, oh, y'all complain too much. Wouldn't you? So yeah, um, that's all y'all. Like, I just haven't really been uploading because I've just been reflecting and I'm like, damn, 
I'm not where I want to be, which don't get me wrong, I'm super realistic, but at the very least, I want a car, which y'all, I was so close to getting a car twice. Um, the first time was completely my fault. I just didn't have my license. Um, the second time, I don't even know what to say. Like, they just didn't want to give me the car. So, I, ugh, I want my own car and I want my own place. That is my biggest, biggest goal. And it's very, very fucking hard to achieve those things. But hopefully, hopefully I can. I know y'all like, girl, what the fuck was this, was this video? I don't even know. I just came on here to like, you know, share where I'm at, you know, because I like to keep y'all up to date. This is my diary at the end of the day, period. It's my internet diary. So y'all know I got to put y'all in my business. Um, But yeah, this wasn't necessarily a diary entry. This was just kind of like a rant. Um, So yeah, shout out to all my Gen Zers out there who are working grinding and only getting like you know $13 an hour like shout outs to y'all yes I know y'all like 13 that's good no it's not not in this economy $13 is nothing literally like I feel so bad for my generation specifically people born in my year 2005 2006 2000 um 2004 like we are literally going through it literally that's why a lot of people haven't moved into their own place lately. Like, a lot of people are still living with their parents. We literally can't afford to do anything else but eat water and ice. We literally can't do nothing. So, it's like, I don't know. And again, this is not about comparison. This is my own personal goals. I'm not comparing myself to anybody. This is my own personal goals. But I just wanted to make this video to encourage more Gen Z people to keep working, keep grinding in this horrible recession. And keep... Keep doing you, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck about what these other generations got to talk about, aka the older ones. We, we doing a damn thing. We doing a damn thing. We survived a whole epidemic, and now we about to survive Great Depression number two. Like, this is what, like, low-key, this period of time is low-key given Great Depression number two. Part two, Great Depression Stimulus Check Edition. We are literally experiencing the backlash of receiving stimulus checks and half of us haven't even received stimulus checks our parents did people older than us did and now we have to suffer i mean everybody's suffering but especially us trying to adult in this world anywho y'all i'm done complaining this is all i wanted to talk about i feel like we don't get enough love like literally what do you, what what generation you know is going through this besides the generation that went through the great depression literally like what a worse time to be an adult Anywho, I hope y'all like learned something from this. Um, that's why I haven't been super consistent. I'm fine. I'm not going through a depressive episode. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> that's all. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. Thank you for hearing me yap, and I'll see you on the next one. No kisses today, y'all. I'm mad.